Hello, welcome to Learn Digital Skills YouTube channel. Um, today I want to teach you how to get ideas or create ideas for your YouTube channel. How to create ideas, acquire ideas for your YouTube channel where you can get ideas. And today I'll be telling you things you will be requiring. Okay, so there are things you guys will be requiring. If you have a smartphone, you have data connection, you have a GU recorder, screen recorder, you need a Kiwi browser, then uh, there is a tool you will download called Keyword Everywhere. And also, um, let me add this to the list, you also need Canva. So, you need Canva, uh, Canva is an app. So, these are the six things you'll be looking for or you'll be needing for you to run and create ideas for youtube videos and one of the things is that you don't need to show your face it can be a test based idea where you are teaching people on what they will do so what are you required to have all those six things you see are your requirements so let's go and get them so how do we get them we already have a phone number one is already done we already have data connection number two is done so how do we get the number three to number six so we will go to our play store if you're using an android phone just like myself you go to play store <coughs> so once you get this store the first thing i say you should download let's check what's the first thing i say you should download i say you should look for what a gu screen recorder so you search here gu screen recorder this is it then you download it i've already downloaded it that's why it's showing me to open then the next thing apart from that the next thing you need is a kiwi browser kiwi browser search for it so i've downloaded it that's why it's also showing me open apart from that the next thing you need is canva let's download canva so we install so it's downloading okay um it's almost downloaded okay it's done so we have gotten a design for canva so we've downloaded canva so in installing after installing it will show us open so let's go to the kiwi browser that's where we'll be starting from so we'll be starting from the kiwi browser so um the the gu recorder is uh, just what you need in recording your screen like myself i had to record my screen so okay um the canva is done so that's why it's showing us open so i just had to record my screen so that you guys will know that i'm using a mobile phone so i'm using a mobile phone to do this so apart from that let's now go to the kiwi browser to the kiwi browser so this is the kiwi browser so I've clicked on it. So why did I recommend this browser or why did I, did I have to tell you guys to look for this browser? The reason is the reason is um, normally if you have a system there's what they call extension. Extension is what adds extra functionality to your browser. Now the normal Chrome browser for a smartphone you can't use that to generate um, you can't download extension on the normal chrome browser so kiwi browser is this browser that gives you the ability for you to use an extension what do i mean let's come here let's look for extension so from here we can click on from store from store this one you've seen here uh, let me use uh, something to um, select this one here so that's where you'll be clicking on from store so you click on it so once you click on it Search on this your search bar. Let me zoom in. Search for keyword everywhere, like that one I told you. So the keyword everywhere is an extension. So you search for it. So once you search for keyword everywhere, it will come. Then you click on it. And once you click on it. Then you click on this icon, you see an icon at the top. But uh, the reason why it's showing us remove from Chrome is 
because we downloaded it already we have added it so you just click on add so that's just how to do that so since we have done that then i will advise you you set your browser to um for something you have to set your browser to desktop site let it be on desktop site i'm just giving an example so click on desktop site why did i say you should put it on desktop site so that your phone will have the ability for it to look like a system like you're using a system so it will pull that to look like a system so apart from that so let's now use chat gtp we want to use chat gtp um in order for us to be able to in order for us to be able to generate this content we're using chat gtp so let's go to chat.openai.com um so let's open chat.openai.com this is it so once we open once we open um it will open this way so um i want to generate ideas for my youtube channel right but i i don't want to type don't go and type don't type in the area i know everybody know how to use chat gtp but you're not typing there now since you've installed keyword everywhere if you come down you'll be seeing a place that is showing um template at the down this side template with a key with it so that's where you'll be clicking on template then once you click on template So let's click on template. So once you click on template, it will open. If you notice, you see keyword everywhere, chat GTP prompt. So you click on category. Once you click on ca category, you have to select social media because um, we want to create an idea for social media. You click here and click on YouTube. Uh, one of the interesting things is that you can generate for Facebook, idea for Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, TikTok, Twitter, and the rest. Now, the next thing you come down is for you to select what do you want from there. So today we'll be creating um, YouTube short script. So we'll click on that. Then you leave the language as English. If you are in, if you are a person that knows how to, or your your channel is in English, like my channel is, I, I speak English. So if you are speaking French, you select your language. If you are from Germany, you select your Dutch and all those your language. Depending on the language you speak, then the next thing is, it will ask you for your video tune, video tune. So video tune is like how do you want your video to be the voice of your video. So let's say I want it to be creative. I'll just click on creative. If I want it to be conversational, I'll click on conversational. If I want it to be funny, I'll click on funny. Then the writing style, because generally it will be giving us a style. So I want the writing style to be informative. If you want it to be expository, you click on expository, narrative, persuasive. So depending on what you want to do. So let's say persuasive, right? Uh, funny and persuasive. Now you have to give the description. So, so why are you giving description? Let's look at the reason why you need a description. Uh, what's your video about? So that you can tell ChatGTP, okay, this is why or what my video is about. So let's say my video is about um how to make um YouTube, for instance, YouTube short videos right now let's see that's what i want to do right how to make youtube short videos right then i'll click on this click to the subscribe button something depending on what you call to action call to action means uh, what you want people to do on that right so let's scroll down and uh, upon doing all these filling all these let's come in um okay so upon filling all these things right so once you've done all that so you have to click if you notice there's a small place where you can see this icon that's where you're going to be clicking so there's a small i don't know 
let me show you what I'm saying with my pad. And if you look at this section, there's a small place. So that's the place you'll be clicking. So let's click on that place. So once we click on that, so it's automatically going to give ChatGTP a suggestion of what he should do. So ChatGTP will give you we give you idea. So it's loading the idea. So I will be pausing it when it's okay. Let me wait for it a little while if I pause. So you notice it is giving us how to go about the whole thing. So right. So this is a short idea that is giving us. So after the whole idea, the next thing we need to do is we can now transition all these or copy all this into the Canva then from there you can use it to create a video so it can give you an idea so it is giving us an idea so if you want you can copy this idea make it into a 3d animation there's 3d animation maybe in my next video I'll be teaching you how to do that in my next video so in my next video I'll be teaching you how to use um, um, 3d animation and also I will teach you how to use a whiteboard animation so stay tuned follow me for more videos like this so later I'll be teaching you also how to use Canva um, to write and to edit and to make good video so thank you very much for watching welcome and ask any question you have you can ask I hope all this was helpful and do take good care of yourself. Have a wonderful day. Bye.